Governor Kaya Defiomi of Ekiti State has tested negative for coronavirus. This was made known by one of his aides, Mr. Shegu Dipe. He relayed the information in a Facebook post on Wednesday night. Defiomi had earlier announced via a tweet that he had a meeting with two people who had coronavirus. Joining us via telephone is the Commissioner for Health in Ekiti State, Dr. Mujishola Yahaya. Kulad, thank you very much for joining us. Okay, good afternoon. Good afternoon, pleasure to have you join us um, on the telephone. You had a press conference. Can you give us um, any further updates since then? Okay, basically, all uh, what we are talking about is that a kitty state is very stable at this time. There are no new cases and all the contacts have been, we have been able to identify them and have contact with them. And everybody is stable. They are not having any symptoms at this time. Uh, do, do you have any further concerns as, result, uh, re, um, as uh, regards public officials um, at this time? No, no further update. Samples were taken, but no results for now. What measures are being put in place to help the spread of the virus in the state? Everybody has been required to stay at home. Only people that are in essential services are required to be out and about. And even the market has been restricted to only food and medicine. So, and there's a task force on the environment that is going on as I speak. They are enforcing social distancing, and to prevent conglomeration. And some areas that the state noticed, that the Mr. Governor noticed that there are a lot of people, uh, there's a tax force that's going to enforce it and get them out of the place. How widespread is this enforcement? Is it only in the capital or across the states? It's basically across the state because... Um, the, we had a meeting with all the stakeholders and um, they were informed about what is going on and everybody has been told there can be weddings, burials or any celebration that will have over 20 people in the Kiki State. Anybody that does that is a violation of the executive order of His Excellency Dr. John Carroll, if I am. Okay, uh, could you tell us a bit about um, whether the governor will be taking another test after testing negative already? Um, is the test, that was a rumor that was carried around on, even on TV that everybody believed. The result is not yet out yet. So the first test that was done, we're all awaiting the result patiently, but I am convinced that will probably have a safe result, but the result is not yet out. Okay, before I let but you go, okay, finish your thought, finish your thought. Yes, I was just going to say, uh, His Excellency, Dr. John Cardia Farm is just doing what he should do to protect everybody around him. So that self-isolation is, is, is the proactive thing to do. Okay. I took it right away. Okay. Uh, before I let you go, I I'd like you to speak quickly on the preparedness in the state, aside from, you know, enforcing the restriction in movement and closing markets. What about containment um, as regards isolation and needed equipment like ventilators? Thank you very much. Uh, currently in a kitty state, immediately His Excellency from the task force I mean, uh, the governor gave the emergency response team two ambulances with drivers that are stationed within the Ministry of Health. And uh, at the isolation center, yeah, we have been given some funds that we started keeping the place as I speak. There's a generator there, the funds are there, there's a ventilator there, there's a patient monitor there. And we keep it keeping and improving every day. So the basic equipment that is needed to make anybody safe is available in that isolation center 
as we speak. Okay, a quick update on the driver with the first, that was the first index case in equity. Uh, he's very stable. We have sent another test. Another sample is being sent, it's been sent already. We are just waiting for the result. All right, and thank once you. we get that result, we'll make a decision. All right, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for your time.